Hello everyone and welcome to Scary Mondays. This is a series that I want to start. Basically every Monday I will try to upload videos talking about dark stuff. So let's get right into the video. Today we will talk about the YouTube iceberg. If you don't know what an internet iceberg is, let me show you. The internet iceberg is often used to illustrate how web spaces are structured. This image makes it easy to understand where content is accessible online. The iceberg can go from the sky deep to the dark abyss. The beginning is stuff that everybody seen and knows and going to the end stuff that not uh, that many people know about. I also want to give credits to the Reddit user Serialen58. I will use some of his uh, stuff from his tire list. The Sky Happy True Friends is an American adult animated web series created by Aubrey Ancrum, Rod Montijo, and Ken Navarro. Happy Tree Friends was made in December 24, 1999 to December 22, 2016. It consists of 93 episodes. At the beginning of each episode, the characters are typically found in everyday situations. However, those situations always escalate into violence and the inventable deaths of those involved and bystanders mostly because of very unfortunate, surprising accidents with otherwise harmless instruments. Some of the characters have mental illnesses, like Flippy, who has post-traumatic stress disorder from a war and will become a killer in certain uh, situations. I know that a lot of people saw this series at a young age and I think it's messed up because it also has a lot of cartoonish type of gore. So yeah. The next one is Salad Fingers. Salad Fingers is a British flash animation web series created by David Firth in May 2004. The meaning behind Salad Fingers is believed to suffer from dissociative identity disorder. There are so many more of those type of channels and videos and also in different countries and languages. For example, Kopilu Arti is an educational channel for, for kids, but uh, filled into a creepy one. It was made in 2011. Then there's Lazy Square. It's an animation channel based on a Russian lifestyle and other type of videos made in 2016. The tip of the iceberg. I feel fantastic. I feel fantastic was originally uploaded by a user called Creepy Blog in 2009. The Android robot is singing in a text to speech voice. After its upload, many rumors about this video started happening. The top two rumors are 1. A serial killer who would murder his victims, take them to his cabin or trailer home in the woods, dress uh, this android thing up with uh, their clothes and uh, make those videos. 2. It's some uh, lonely dude who just owns this android and is working on getting it to sing and say other phrases and all. There is a website where he updates it and uh, explains how he does it, but sadly I cannot find the site. Soon it was found that the robot name is Tara and it has its own music with a DVD collection. Username 666 Username 666 refers to a gruesome pasta video by Japanese visual artist Piro Pito, also known as his username uh, Nana and a lot of uh, letters. The video shows that uh, supposedly happens when one searches for the username 666 on YouTube and then refreshes the page a couple of times. This video started a whole chain of creepypastas videos on it and people trying to solve it. Back when the video was uploaded in 2008, some people uh, thought uh, that uh, it was real, but then they found out it was fake. Obey the Walrus The video has an intro with Star Fox 65, then a combination of weird color formations and sped up music. The music suddenly slows down and a woman named Goddess Bunny is seen with an umbrella tap. She has leg warmers on her hand and is wearing this weird sleeveless shirt and pants. This goes on for about one minute and it cuts to a different shot. 
the different shot is her slowly walking towards the camera, which is very creepy and at that point the music is some, somewhat distorted and staticy. Godness Bunny was uh, disabled and she uh, tragically passed away this year because of COVID-19. The body 11BX1371 In this video there is a person who apply a grey mask. There are a lot of easter eggs that you can decode. The video is originally uploaded on deep web, which uh, in my opinion is a puzzle. A lot of communities and YouTubers like some ordinary gamers or chill fuel try to solve it. DM Pranks DM Pranks was a channel that would upload short horror films. It also uploaded clown pranks. Unfortunately, they deleted the clown videos, but I cannot find why. In some videos, they would smash a mannequin head full of fake blood when a person would walk at night alone. There was a video of a clown actually getting shot because of those pranks, and some other pranks ending up people calling the police on them. All of those videos were made in Italy from what I have read in the comments. Grave robbing for morons A VHS rip of a young man with a speech impediment explaining how to properly rob a grave and prepare human remains for sale on a black market. He holds a human skull for the entire video, and uh, to his day the man's identity remains unknown. And remember, the video was made in 1990s, maybe actually in the 1980s, and his identity still wasn't found. Below the surface, Blank Room Soup AV2 uh, the video was originally posted on deep web and then someone posted on YouTube. In uh, the video you could uh, see two people with a custom and big heads. The customs uh, are originally from a ch Japanese TV show called Ray Ray. From what I can find, there are large possibility this is a real hostage. No one knows. The suits are for sure stolen and um, somewhat recognizable. More of a theory is that whatever is in the ball is actually some kind of rotting animal remi remains. Though that part uh, doesn't seem to be based in anything and there was another rumor that he was actually eating his wife. Benjamin Bennett Benjamin Bennett is a YouTube channel that was based on only sitting and smiling. He would sit and smile every day for more than 4 hours. In one of his video, it shows that someone breaks into his house and Benjamin didn't do anything and the robber just left. Here's the clip. From what I have seen, the past uh, two years he has been uploading videos of him exploring the world called Walking and Talking. Usually every video is about four hours. Happy Anniversary is a video from uh, 2016 and there is an old guy laughing for a minute and smiles with a text showing up saying Happy Anniversary. The creepy part is that the description is called Happy Anniversary 112 Dirtbag, which is a, a callout for the car crash that happened in 2004 on Route 112 and the girl Maura Murray went missing. The old guy from uh, the video was investigated, but nothing was uh, found. The Abyss Plasma Master Don Plasma Master Don was an old man who would cover songs. I have personally saw one of his videos. I got uh, Joji's Slow Dancing in the Dark recommended. It is also one of his most popular covers on all of his channel. All of his comments were talking about how good and wholesome he is, but they didn't know his dark secret. A popular uh, YouTuber called uh, Nick Crowley found out that Don was actually a legitimate child predator. Plasma Master Don was in the Federal Sex Offender Registry. Ten days after Nick posted the video, Plasma Master Don died due to a lengthy illness. Weird metal bands. There are a lot of weird metal bands, and you can find some concerts live on YouTube. There's a band called Silencer, 
and the Vast singer cut his sand and replaced them with pig feed. I know it sounds unreal, but there's a whole documentary and I think I'll make a separate video talking about weird um, bands like um, Gigi Allen and other as well. The Dark Abyss Faces of Death Faces of Death is a full movie on YouTube. It's not safe for work, so I recommend not to watch it. But YouTube still doesn't take it down because it thinks it's educational. In the movie there are a lot uh, of fake human deaths and some pretty graphic news real footage of real human death. When there is a lot of filler with various types of animals being killed in various ways as part of rituals and slaughterhouses. In the film there are dogfights, clubbing and skinning of fewer seals, Native American tribe deaths and a lot more. Mr. Sleepy People Mr. Sleepy People is a channel where he would go into people's room, open their eyes and lick it. Some rumors are that he would make them drunk and as soon as they fall asleep he would do those disgusting stuff. And I also saw like three of his videos re-uploaded on TikTok. And before he got his channel deleted on YouTube, he had a small community that enjoyed and were dreaming to do the same thing to other people. YouTube comments. I added YouTube comments on this list because of the bots that comment with sketchy links and because of the bots commenting do you want to be friends and if you reply uh, they can steal your account but I'm not sure if that is actually true. Thank you so much for staying till the end of the video. If you are new here make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. I will try to make more videos like this in future. Let me know your opinion in the comments down below. The Discord server is in the description as well, if anyone wants to join. See ya.